seconds. 15 seconds for the ranking member. The good doctor from Tennessee. Uh, let me just say this. I have read this 50 million times. Their concern was that there were members of Congress that were going around talking about letting, not raising the debt ceiling. That's what they, that was one of their major concerns, and saying we don't, we don't have to do that. That's, that, that's, that's what, what you should have done. If you, if you didn't raise the debt ceiling, then we could have cut spending. So you said that we were paying our bills. We don't pay our bills by going deeper into debt. That's avoiding paying our bills and guaranteeing eventual default. Gentleman from Tennessee, the good doctors recognize. Dr. Uh, Boucher, you said that uh, you know it's time to increase taxes on the on the rich, or we're going to get back into this let's spread the wealth mentality to get ourselves out of the uh, the problem. Uh, how exactly uh, do you think that that is going to solve the problem? And and as far as the taxes on the rich and the uh, re removal of the deduction. Uh, in the uh, charitable contribution area. Can you comment on that and how you think that is going to solve the problem? Thank you. Um, you know, as many of us have talked about today, we clearly have a long-term deficit problem. We have a gap. We have a challenge there. One of the things that we have seen over the past few decades is that America has become a fairly low tax country. And one of the things that we have done is that we have extended these tax cuts on the wealthiest. Well, for, let me interrupt. Do we tax too little or do we spend too much as a government? I mean, look at our, look at our deficit. Rel exactly. Relative to other countries, we are a relative low tax country and we are not a relative are high spending. Are we spender. a high spending country? No. We are not? No, well, not, how did relative, we get not relative mess? to our GDP and relative to other countries. No, I mean I could, I will, I'm, I would be more than happy after this to okay. send you well, a series of charts that document this. Do you think that taxing or closing the loophole on charitable contributions is going to hurt charities? That is only for families, who, for wealthy families, and I think over the long run, no. I mean, I think that what is important. Wealthy I mean, if families we think over at what amount? Two hundred and fifty thousand. Two hundred fifty thousand so for a married a couple. Family. Who do you think usually gives uh, the most a, to charities? It is a wealthy family. Um, those are families in the very top of the United States income distribution. Those are families that have benefited from in, from economic growth over the past few decades, while other families have not. So they have been, been benefited more from the two thousands, more during the nineteen eighties, more during the nineteen nineties than middle class and lower income families. So asking them to pay their fair share does seem like an appropriate place if we are all focused on closing that deficit. Okay. It has to come from somewhere. It can't come from families that have yeah. not seen income gains. Mr. Schiff, do you have a comment on that? I'd like to ask you know, Dr. Bruchet, what percentage of my income do you think the government should take? What would be fair? Make sure your mic's on, Mr. Schiff. Yeah, what, what percentage of my income should the government take? What, what do you think would be fair? I'm, I'm not going to give well, you a number Well, just give me right a guess. Here. Yeah. Well, just, I just, what do you think would be fair? You say we're not, I'm not paying enough taxes. How, how high should my taxes be? What percentage of my income should be taken away from me by the government? We have a progressive income tax right, but structure. Just, what do you think would have half, 60 percent, 70 percent? How much should they take? Wow, well, gonna, well that is so gonna, far beyond. Well, we're we're gonna, wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait but I'm just, you know, hang on, hang on. Let me say that, you know, well, tax, tax the, gentleman, the rich. The gentleman from Tennessee well, has yeah, the time. Uh, yeah, I'll just interrupt. You know, taxing the rich is a great idea until the rich run out of money, and that seems well, to be Well, no, my problem process. is I'm already almost paying hang half on a my income in hey, taxes hang on a right second. now. That is impossible. It's not impossible. No, it's not. Okay, this, let me, Mr. Chairman. Um, let, let's let's shift gentlemen, gears for one second wait, because gentlemen. this is going to go on forever. Uh, uh, Dr. Boucher, do you feel that government, Dr. Boucher, do you feel that government jobs create revenue? And I think you said that the stimulus one had uh, the majority of jobs created were private sector jobs. Do public jobs create revenue, or do they just cost the taxpayers money? Recovery dollars that have gone the dollars that go into communities to say build a bridge. You hire engineers, typically in the private sector, some in the public, some in the private. You hire contractors. You hire people that do concrete. You hire a lot of folks in the private sector. And then that has spillover effects. So that if you, you hire that person who has the concrete, and then they go and they have more money, and so they spend it in their community, that's how those private sector jobs are created, Dr. Schiff, directly and indirectly. Mr. Schiff, do you feel that's a good return on your investment to spend those tax dollars that way? I mean, what's, what's your chance of making a profit? Well, first I want to point out that you know, 99 percent of my income is taxed at the marginal rate. So the marginal rate is my rate. And if the Federal Government has taken 35 percent of my income and then another 3 percent for, 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 for Medicare, that is 38, and then when I have the State of Connecticut now almost 7 percent, I am over 45 percent of my income in, in tax, and that is before I pay any property taxes or sales taxes or anything else like that. And if you raise my taxes much more, I'm, that's it. I'm done.